At the 2011 ISC West Conference and Exhibition, March Networks launched its new command video management platform, scalable software that provides customers with a sophisticated web-based interface that is easy to use and highly customizable. So, so Command is effectively the brand name for our next generation VMS solution. It is uh, really from the low end of the market all the way up to a very scalable enterprise class solution. So it comes in two releases. There is a, what we call Command Professional, which is a single server up to 128 camera solution. Then there is Command Enterprise, which has all of the management features you would expect in a, a very scalable enterprise class solution. So that's up to 128,000 cameras. Uh, in both cases, it's the same user interface. It is OnVIF compliant and very open standards and CIO friendly, uh, which is really builds on the heritage that March, Net March Networks has had uh, since we launched 10 years ago. So it's really, when we think of the, the key features, we've taken a very different approach, I think, than some of the players in the market. Uh, rather than building many, many features that work for very few customers, we have built the critical features that work for many customers. Now we have been a vertically growth driven company as we went from growing in banking to growing in the uh, to growing in uh, the transportation market and then ultimately growing in the retail market. With our all IP command solution as well as our IP camera portfolio, this is how we are going to be growing truly in the enterprise class commercial industrial space. So we've developed a few key things. One, we think this is the easiest to use, most user friendly user interface you're going to find out there. Works with a Mac as well as a PC. It's very customizable. It allows you to have different settings depending on who the user is. And then really delivers what I think of as the best enterprise class mass configuration as well as mass management of your edge devices. Command Professional is intended um, for single server installations with up to 120 cameras. Um, typically when you go beyond 120 cameras or single site or single server, we recommend using Command Enterprise. Um, this is the interface for Command Professional. The primary interface for Command Professional and Command Enterprise is a browser-based uh, interface. We also have a Windows-based thick client, but with this um, browser-based interface, as I mentioned, it is um, platform independent and browser independent. So uh, what we're showing here is the application running on both Macintosh and um, Windows uh, PCs. From the browser aspect, we're able to uh, support uh, Internet Explorer, uh, Safari, Firefox, or Google Chrome. What we're showing here right now is uh, specifically Internet Explorer, but on the Mac we're showing um, on uh, the interface running on Safari. Okay. The general anatomy of the two products from an interface perspective um, share a lot of common features. Um, starting with the navigation panel here on the left, you see that you have a, a system panel that you can expand your system resources. So this is a uh, command porting server that I've expanded the resource tree for. So here you see all my pan tilt zoom cameras and fixed cameras. On the right is the default four camera view that comes up. I can simply drag and drop cameras into the um, camera tiles and they'll start displaying as quickly as uh, the network will allow them to start transmitting video over. Okay. Once you start laying out cameras for your interface, um, you may want to or you may choose to start to collapse a few items that make the screen a little bit busy. Uh, one of the things you can collapse very quickly is the uh, playback controls. Our playback controls are standard VCR type rewind fast forward playback controls and what you get here is a time bar indicating where there's recorded video. Now when it comes to handling individ individual video tiles we have the ability to um, full screen for a minute right from the tile. Just press escape to uh, minimize or go ahead and expand the entire camera view. So those buttons you will find in every individual camera tile as well as in the multi-camera interface. If you need information on the video screen about the video streams um, such as frame rate or bit rates we can display that very easy from the information button or hide that information. We could also hide the time date information as well if that's not relevant for you. The controls here for zooming, iris control, and um, also in pin tilt zoom are, are standard buttons that we've found in the consumer world for videography and photography. We found that there wasn't a lot of continuity in the surveillance industry on um, some of these buttons, and uh, we decided to um, put the end user first in this case and uh, develop buttons that they're already using their consumer electronics. So these should look familiar to anyone who owns a digital uh, uh, camera, still camera, or camcorder. 
we've covered the, the basics um, of the command professional interface. Uh, what we have over here on the right actually is um, command uh, enterprise. Unique about a command enterprise server uh, that is different from a command professional server is this logical tree. Okay, this area is uh, the area that you would use uh, for assigning resources to users. So under the logical tree, you'll see that uh, we have icons that represent cameras, um, as well as icons that represent multi-camera views. So in some cases, you may want to give. Um, for security operations folks access to an entire system, but in some cases you may want to limit what they have um, available to them. The, the user will only have uh, what's available under the logical tree. So if you only want to give them a specific camera or a specific camera view, you have the ability to do that through the logical tree. Okay. Um, one of the other things that um, we find very valuable for, for customers is the fact that we've uh, copied the interface um, approach that we find in most traditional browsers where when you want to open up another resource, it does so by opening up an additional tab. So just like Internet Explorer or Firefox um, offer tab browsing, we offer a tabbed interface. So if you want to go to a new resource, it will open up on a new tab so that you can quickly go back to a previous resource. Okay. If you start navigating through a resource tree and you kind of lose track of yourself, we have um, what we call cookie, cookie crumb trail so that you can simply go back to your previous step and kind of go back down the path that you're intending to go down. Again, uh, very helpful uh, and it's a traditional interface that you'll find in most browser applications. Up on the top of the, of the system here, you'll see some system resource buttons. You'll notice that you won't find any menus um, in our interface. We've found after doing some extensive um, interviewing with user groups that users don't like drop down menus. So what we've done is we've developed buttons um, that are task um, based buttons that reflect the tasks that they actually control. Our customers um, seem to prefer this. So we have our user management, mass management, Preferences for things like language, device discovery, um, lo system logs, and additional uh, tools there. Okay. So this is the interface for our, our device management. So here you'll see um, all the IP cameras that we have in the system here. You will, in, in addition to that, you'll also see uh, any NVR or DVR based recorders or command recording servers. If you want to do any type of system administration, you can navigate to the um, URL for that, or you can simply click on the button here to open the configuration tool for command config. Go ahead and provide my administrative credentials. So this is our configuration um, interface for system administration. So you see we also have um, an area here for uh, user management. Um, general system information, log files, for doing individual recorder management and recorder uh, uh, device configuration. Okay. Now we have made this solution on VIF compliant to, to work with the other players in the industry who are on VIF compliant. At the same time, we've recognized the need for direct integration with the key players in the industry. So we have taken the approach of taking the top five IP camera companies, top five access control co companies, as well as best of breed application companies whether that's license plate recognition, whether that's mass notification uh, for emergency situations, and really started to build a plug-in type application uh, platform where we can bring all of that together with direct integrations and on VIF where appropriate. Uh, what I think is the most unique CIO feature is that we have actually built a, uh, a feature that we call server-to-server uh, -server gateway. Uh, it effectively allows you to take somewhere between 50 and 90 percent of the network traffic off of the wide area network. And, and ultimately, as a CIO, you realize the cost savings in, in doing that. Um, additionally, when you have this system combined with our March Networks cameras and a complete solution, we have a technology called shadow archiving that allows for complete redundancy and ensures that you won't lose the video if the network goes down, but importantly allows the data to then, the video to then resynchronize when the network is back up, saving time as well as the cost uh, and certainly eliminating the risk of losing that video. We took our time with command 
because we thought it was more important to build the right solution rather than the first solution. And so we think we've done that with Command Professional and Command Enterprise and really looked and expect to see our IP portfolio for Command and on the software side as well as our applications and our IP cameras growing into 2011.